What is up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is a tutorial on how to mask in LumaFusion. So masking is pretty much green screening a certain place and replacing it with a video or photo. So let's head on over to the iPad and start editing. I am going to green screen the center of this hexagon. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna do when you want to green screen is to add a overlay title. So I'm gonna click the plus right here, overlay title, drag that over, and go into edit on the overlay title. Go to text, and text, delete the text, and add a shape. And now I have this shape right here. I'm going to change the color to green. So all you gotta do is change the color to green. And I am trying to fill the inside of this hexagon in green screen it so I can put a, a photo or a video inside of it. So what I'm gonna do is change the shape to a triangle and I'm gonna rotate it to fit inside of this hexagon. Um, I kind of did a little bit of trial run, so now I'm going to change the scale X to fit the corners right here. As you can see, it fills up the corners, so I'm going to go to the exact thing of where it is to fill it. There we go, I'm going to go a few more. There we go. I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to rotate this one a full 180 degrees. Oh, wrong way. So I'm going to get it to where it's exactly at 90 degrees. There we go. And place this right inside of that corner. So now, as you can see, I have the most of the thing filled, except for there are these lines right here. So now I'm going to go to frame and fit, and then cropping. And I'm just going to drag the top down. And as you can see, that takes the two triangles down and I'm gonna line it up. There we go, and then do the same on the bottom. And boom, there we go. So now we have the inside of this hexagon completely filled with green screen. Now we have to fill the green screen in with a photo or video. So I'm gonna go back. So I'm gonna export this. I'm gonna click this arrow right here and click snapshot. So now I have a picture of this in my camera roll. I'm gonna go get that and add it to my project so now that I have this photo that I screenshotted off of these two right here I'm gonna go ahead and delete those two right there so now I just have this which is there's only one layer there's no two layers it's just this one right here so now I'm going to add the other layer that I want so I'm gonna use this video right here and drag it to the side of it this is just me riding a four-wheeler. I'm just going to crop it down to the part that I want, which is this part right here. Crop, get rid of that. So now I'm going to drag um, the clip of the green screen right here on top of it and extend it to the length of my video. So now I'm going to go into edit on the green screen layer, go to color and effects, and then click this button right here, the keyhole, which is the chroma key. Click that, I'm going to go to green screen key, which is this one right here. Click that, and as you can see, the green screen is the video that I have below it in my project. You can go to green screen and click edge blur radius, and this will blur the perimeter around it to help make it more smooth and not as harsh. So here is the video. So that is an example of how to mask in LumaFusion uh, using the green screen tool. I recorded me um, opening a drawer and closing it. It's me opening it and closing it. I'm going to add an uh, overlay title, uh, make it the same exact length as your video, go into edit on the title, go to text, get rid of the text delete that, add a shape, turn it green. This one is a little bit trickier because the green screen is moving with the video. As you can see, I open it up, so I want it to come in 
and then close again. So it's not just sitting there. This is a little bit trickier, but I will show you how to do it the easiest way possible. I'm gonna put this right here. I'm going to make the scale Y like this and X a little bit bigger so I can crop it down. This is how big it's gonna be. So I'm gonna do a little bit more on the X, a little bit less. I'm gonna need to do uh, more than one shape to fill this. So this is what the first one is gonna look like, just like that. When it first starts, which is right here, I'm going to crop it and make it just this right here. And actually, I need to rotate it because I filmed it kind of on an angle. So go to size and position and rotate it. I'm going to rotate it twice and I might change that along the way. But I'm going to go into cropping and that's what it looks like. I might actually open up the bottom just a little bit. So I'm going to create a keyframe. And obviously I don't want it before this, so I'm gonna create a keyframe in blending as well. This is when it first starts, but I'm gonna go one before that and take the opacity down to nothing so it appears just like that in the next clip. Now I'm gonna go back to cropping. So see, it's not here. And then boom, it's here right as this starts, which is the beginning right here. So I'm gonna keyframe that. Go to the next clip by clicking this right here. Extend the crop of the shape at the bottom a little bit more to align with me opening the cupboard. Then I'm gonna keep going and do that for as it keeps opening, just going to the next frame and then cropping it and letting it uh, slide with the drawer. I'm just gonna speed up the video because this process is very ongoing and long. this and open it up it comes with the drawer but as you can see there are a little bit of spaces on the side that I'm gonna fill with more shapes so to fill in these sides I'm gonna go back to text I am going to uh, duplicate this and as you can see I have this right here which all I'm gonna do is turn it on an angle since this is partially on an angle I'm gonna rotate it this way a few and then line it up with this angle just like that so when it opens that side is completely full there we go so this I'm going to go to text again and add a, another one so now I have this one on this side and I'm going to rotate it the other way to counter with the other side that looks good just like that so now I'm going to go over here, it automatically um, crops it to make it fit. So this is me playing it back. There we go. So I filled in those empty sides with added shapes. All you got to do is add a few more shapes and it comes up a lot better if what you film is not completely straight. All you got to do is add a few more. Now that I have it opened up, I'm going to have it when he closes it because I close it and you know it stays right there. So I'm going to go to the clip when I start closing it, which is right here. I'm go to cropping, I'm gonna make a keyframe and slowly start cropping as I close it, like that. It's just going to the next frame and then clicking this side of the cropping and taking it as the drawer closes. So when I play it back, it's going to look like this. I'm going to export the video. I'm going to export the video to my photo library and I'm going to go get that, bring it in here, 
and then I can get rid of these two layers. So now I'm going to add that same uh, four wheeler video and find a good part. All right. So I crop down my video to the part that I want. I'm going to drag my green screen clip on top of it. I'm going to drag this to make it the same length. Go into edit on my green screen. Go to the keyhole up here. Click green screen key. And this will replace the green screen with um, the layer that is underneath it. Okay, so let's watch it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope this uh, helped you learn how to mask in LumaFusion. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. That would help me out a lot. If you want to check out my vlogging channel, click right here. I've got some pretty interesting content on that channel, so go check it out. See you in the next video. Oh,